If Justin Fields is your quarterback, then like the video. I mean, how can you not be fired up about JF1 at this point? Hit that like button if he is your quarterback because he's my quarterback, which means, hey, go ahead and like the video. I better see over 1,000 likes on today's show. And coming up on today's show, I will explain why you should be excited about Fields moving forward in this offense. What's up, Bears fans? Welcome into Chicago Bears Now by Chat Sports. I am Harrison Graham. And on today's show, we got some news and rumors to catch you guys up on, including let's talk about the offense here as Justin Fields and the Bears, do they have the most explosive offense in the NFL? Yes, the NFL. Well, they do lead the NFL in, quote, big plays. And what a big play is defined as in the NFL Run plays of 10 or more yards, passing plays of 20 or more yards. So let's break down the top 10 here. Here are the top 10 most explosive offenses when it comes to big plays in the NFL. The Bears have 99 of them. That means, again, 10-yard-plus rushes, 20-yard-plus passes, 68 of the 99 are runs. Eagles in second with 97 big plays. You got the Browns with 94, the Ravens with 88, the Chiefs with 87, all so on and so forth. Now, obviously, uh, something that did surprise me, for most of these teams, more explosive running plays than passing. Now, again, you only have to get 10 yards for that to be a big play on the ground versus 20 through the air. Obviously, the Bears, 31 uh, big passing plays. You would expect that number to go up in the future. But I think what this shows me is that Justin Fields is a big play machine because I would guess out of those 68 big runs, I could go chart this and maybe I will. At least half of those are fields, uh, r scrambling, design runs, etc., cetera, uh, of 10 or more yards. Certainly Herbert and Montgomery are going to have a few of those and a couple end rounds to St. Brown and Valus Jones that have gone for over 10. But uh, Justin Fields is a big play machine. We've seen it for two, two and a half months now at this point in time. And we've seen uh, the, the statistics go up because of that. Sure, the raw numbers still don't just jump off the screen as a passer. But considering how the season started through the first four weeks, there's been a lot of improvement there. We know how incredible he's been as a runner. I mean, he's going to surpass a thousand yards, maybe even this week or er, next week, bye week this week, of course, which is just insane. Not many quarterbacks have done that in the history of the NFL. And look, we've been harsh on Luke Getze at times. And, you know, Justin Fields has taken his fair share of criticism at times. And just because they're getting big plays doesn't mean this is a complete offense right now. But this is only year one of the Luke Getze, Justin Fields relationship. And by the way, the pieces around fields on offense aren't that great. Like a big offseason coming up here, if you get some real uh, big time talent on the offensive line and at receiver, and you get a whole fresh offseason uh, of fields learning this offense even more and taking that next step. I mean, this offense could really take off in 2023. I think it's exciting to see what we're seeing already. Even in a lost season, there are still positive signs for the future. Now, do you believe in this Justin Fields, Luke Getze combination moving forward offensively? I do believe in it. They got to figure out how to close games and, uh, you know, hit big plays and big time moments. But I think that will come with time. Type B for believe or type D for don't. Do you believe in this combination offensively moving forward? Now, hit that su subscribe button here on the channel. We are 102 subscri subscribers away from 57,000 on the channel. Closing in here, let's get there uh, as soon as possible. Daily Bears videos coming your way on this channel. The latest Bears news, rumors, NFL draft coverage. Put out another mock draft yesterday. If you want to go check that out, subscribe and uh, go to the content tab. Should be right there. Don't miss any of our coverage here on the channel. Let's get to 57,000 subs. All right, let's talk about... A rookie now, going from the second-year quarterback to a rookie. That is Braxton Jones. Is he the best rookie offensive lineman in the NFL? Well, he's certainly been one of them, uh, believe it or not. Braxton Jones is actually the highest-graded rookie tackle in the NFL, the 20th best overall tackle, which is pretty crazy for a fifth-round pick playing left tackle. Uh, here are his PFF grades overall is a 74. Pass blocking, 66.8, but since week seven, that's over 75, so he's improved mightily there. Still gets pushed back on some bull rushes sometimes, but he'll add some strength this offseason. Run blocking's been solid all year at 77.9. Has eight penalties, uh, so, you know, you'd like that number to be a little down, but still not a bad number uh, by any means. For a fifth-round rookie out of FCS Southern Utah that went 1-10 last season, 
Jones has been awesome. Like, he's been good even if he was a first-round pick. Like, these are solid rookie numbers. If this was, let's say, Akeem Aquanu out of uh, Carolina, who he's grading higher than, by the way, Aquanu a top-10 pick, uh, Braxton Jones has been uh, fantastic. I mean, you couldn't ask for more uh, than what you've gotten here. I mean, the fact that he won the starting job said enough – and that he's held that down and continued to improve throughout the season and handled adversity when he's gotten beat, he's responded. Uh, I think he's set there. I like Tevin Jenkins at right guard. It's just the rest of the offensive line now. What do you do at left guard, center, and right tackle? Those are the positions you got to figure out. I think there's a high likelihood that Cody Whitehair gets cut this offseason, so that means left guard opens up. But – Maybe Alex Leatherwood's an option at right tackle or one of the or at left guard potentially center. I think you got to figure that out. I don't think you can go into next year with the Patrick Lucas Patrick Sam Mustfer uh, combination. Uh, Doug Kramer. I don't think he's going to be that guy. So certainly have to figure out center as well. But uh, the fact that Braxton Jones has been this good as a fifth round pick and to potentially just X that out, you don't have to worry about left tackle. That's uh, that's that's pretty damn remarkable and really good work by Ryan Poles and really good work by Jones and this coaching staff uh, to have him reach this point. Now, grade Braxton Jones rookie season. I think when you factor in everything, where he was drafted, what the expectations were, it has to be an absolute A. He's been fantastic. Drop your grades down in the comments section. Now, have you guys ever signed up for something or maybe even done a free trial for something, but you had to enter your credit card and then you forget about it, right? And all of a sudden you get start charged with a monthly subscription. I know I've done it before uh, with certain accounts like HBO Max, Xbox Live. I've been getting charged for Xbox Live for two years. I just realized that the other day. I haven't used it in the last year and a half, two years. So that's cost me some money. Rocket Money is going to help you save money. Today's sponsor, go to rocketmoney.com slash bears now to... Download the app and sign up today by creating an account. And what they do is they put all your sub subscriptions on one screen and you can decide which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to dump because most Americans are spending over $200 per month on subscriptions. And that number adds up as you continue to add some. And, you know, some of these prices go up too with certain ones, especially after a year. So stay on top of your upcoming bills and ultimately decide, hey, do I still want Netflix? Do I still want Hulu? Am I using Prime Video uh, as uh, often as is uh, I used to uh, when I first signed up for it. If the answer is no, cancel that subscription, and all you have to do is click cancel next to which one you don't want. Rocket Money takes care of it. You don't have to reach out to HBO or to any of these companies and go jump through hoops just to cancel your subscription. They do it for free. It's not a hassle at all. Uh, Rocketmoney.com slash bears now. Go get signed up today and go download the app right there. All right, uh, so the Bears are on bye week this week, so I got a little week 14 rooting guide for you as Chicago has the number two pick in the NFL draft uh, right now with five weeks to go. Obviously, uh, they cannot win or lose this week, so we'll get to a rooting guide here in a little bit, but here is the updated NFL draft order as we sit right now. The Texans still maintaining uh, that number one pick at 110 and one. Bears sitting there at three and 10. Seattle and the Lions at uh, that number three and number four pick via Denver and the Rams. So uh, if you're Seattle and Detroit, you're feeling pretty good. You're going to have multiple first-round picks. Panthers at four and eight uh, with the fifth pick. Eagles at four and eight with the sixth. They get that via uh, New Orleans uh, for, uh, uh, season this year. Jacksonville, Cardinals, Colts, and Falcons. So you look at the Reek 14 rooting guide here. So... These are the games to watch. And the logos I put are the teams you want to win. Raiders at Rams tonight, Thursday night football. You want the Rams to win and pick up uh, win number four. Texans at Cowboys. Be great if the Texans won. Let's be honest, it's not going to happen. Jaguars at Titans. Maybe the Jags could win that one. Uh, Tennessee's lost three in a row. You never know. That would be win number five for them. Chiefs at Broncos. Home game, divisional game, maybe Denver pulls off the upset. Seems very unlikely with that joke, Nate Hackett and Russie Wilson. Uh, Carolina at Seattle. Uh, that's a weird line. I think Carolina's only a four-point dog, so uh, you never know there. And then uh, the Patriots at the Cardinals uh, would be nice for the Cardinals to win. Two teams in particular, though. The Rams and the Broncos both have three wins, just like the Bears, but one less loss because they already had their bye week. Bears have theirs this week. If they both lose to fall to 3-10, and 10, the Bears would drop from the number two pick to the number four pick in the draft order due to strength of schedule because that is the tiebreaker uh, 
on uh, on uh, on that uh, when it comes down to that. So um, that's not what you want. And by the way, the Bears have one of the toughest schedules in the NFL this year. So they're not gonna. That's not gonna change. So you really need the Rams and the Broncos to win, if not this week, at some point, if you want the Bears to maintain that number two pick. All right, bring the energy. No game this week, but get the bear downs going. We'll be watching uh, a lot of games this weekend. Lots of things going on. So type bear down if you uh, are a diehard our Bears fan and are hoping to get the number two pick in the NFL draft. And again, subscribe to the channel. We will continue to keep you guys in the loop with the latest Bears news, rumors, and updates. So go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you soon here on Bears Now.